Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video what we're going to see is our machine, our small machine, the sorting line. So let's go to the presentation. So in order to test the software EcoStructure Automation Expert, what we're going to have here is a, a small machine, so we can play with the software, okay, get familiar with the software along with this machine. So the idea is to play with this sorting line. Okay, so let me just grab the pen. So this is the sorting line machine that we have. So the idea is to use one of these elements that we have over here. They have different colors. Okay, so you can see we have white, red, and blue. So any of these ones are going to go over here to the input of this machine, the sorting line. Okay, here it will stop at some point that we can configure and here we're going to have our um, color sensor so based on the result on the color sensor then the sorting line we define which is the place that the product should be going okay so along with this mechanical part we have this pcb this pcb has some pins and terminals that allow us to connect to our controller so for doing that let's analyze the different parts that we have and different elements inside this sorting line so at the beginning where the product is going to be uh, introduced okay we have this sensor this sensor of this ones okay which is the live barrier inlet so this sensor is the one that's going to detect there is a new product coming in if you take a look here at the bottom, we should be able to see some small sensor, but it's the one that counts the amount of pulses based on the position or the movements that the conveyor has. So you can see over here, we have this, this part of the switch that is activating or is counting the pulses, okay? It's sending the pulses later to the PLC, but this is the one that generates the signal just to give us an idea about the movement of the conveyor belt. So this is the input of the elements and here is the output. And at the output, we have another sensor that is the one that, it, that detects the products before doing the sorting. So you can see over here, this is the sensor, okay, the barrier, and we also have the other barrier. Now, in the middle, in this box over here, we have the color sensor. As you can see here in the picture, okay, it has, you can see some lights once it, it is activated. You can see some lights over there. So the idea is that the products stop in that position so we can recognize the color that we have. As you can see here in the picture, this one is without any product and this one with the product. So you can see the light of the sensor impacting in the product so we can see which is the color now oops now in the other side okay we have another light barrier that depends on the not on the color not that with the color but depends on the product that goes in there okay and we have three different lights barrier we have one for the white one for the red over here, another one for the for the blue. So the idea is to identify that the product has reached the final destination based on the color. If we introduce another kind of uh, product with different color, they just go to scrap, okay? Otherwise, we should go to the right position. Now, those are the the sensors okay everything that is coming to a digital input or another input into the controller now we need to make some movements okay so here we're going to see are the outputs from the plc that are going to activate some, uh, some of the elements of our sorting line so the first one is the motor for the conveyor as you can see here the gears okay that is going to make the movement of the belt and then here we have the compressor that is going to activate the bulbs that are located. Mm, let me see the other picture. They are located 
over here okay so this one of the actuators that is going to push the product when it's reached the position that we need to configure and here we can see the valves okay we have three different valves one for white another for red another for blue okay this one is just to give you an idea of where the different parts are located but the main the core for what we want is going to be located on the pcb okay so so far we have already seen different parts of our sorting line so let me just have a look on this one so this is the the actual sorting line okay you can see my hand over here so the idea oops just go with that so the idea is to use one of these three products okay so the idea is to put the product different kind of product over the conveyor the conveyor or the machine is going to identify when it passes through this sensor okay it go to over here it will stop in the position where i need to detect the color once this one is finished it will start the conveyor again okay it will pass over this sensor and depend on the color that we have one of these is going to be activated, okay? Depending on the color, they will be activated in order to sort the product depending on the color, okay? So this is it for just to get familiar with our sorting line. What we're gonna see later is how we can connect the PLC with our sorting line. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.